Hey guys, Mr. Morgan here with another instructional video for remote learning. Today is Wednesday, 11-4. We just had our election yesterday, and now we are going to talk about the results of that. And then afterwards, we are going to go in and talk about Egypt, uh, Egypt technology. So the technological advancements that we see in Egypt, we see a bunch of different ones, and even some that aren't uh, talked about in this assignment that we're doing today. So we have our election results from yesterday. If you participated in the election, then good on you. You got to participate in your civic duty like millions of Americans did across the nation yesterday. So we have our popular vote, which means who got more of the population of New Haven Junior High. And then we have our electoral vote, which means who won more of the states or our classes at New Haven Junior High. So combining the seventh and the eighth grade, we had a total of about 224, 225 votes. And so our winner of the popular vote, meaning who got a higher percentage of that 225, was Donald Trump with 106 votes to uh, Joe Biden and the Democratic ticket with 101 with our libertarian Joe Jorgensen getting eight votes. So this is pretty normal for what we see in a election. The Democrat and Republican vote is usually fairly close. We had 47% Joe Biden, 49% Donald Trump. And then we have uh, our libertarian vote getting only normally like a small amount, like below 5%. 5% uh, would be really, really good for a libertarian vote in a national election. So when it came to electoral votes, rather than having to get 270 like they would in a national election, ours was only 47. So that means that they need to get 24 votes to win the electoral college vote in New Haven Junior High. So uh, in New Haven Junior High for the electoral college vote, we see Donald Trump winning again with 25.5, just barely getting the electoral college vote while Joe Biden uh, had 21.5. There was one class that was tied. And so that class uh, got split. And so we saw that the numbers were uh, kind of off. Normally in a tie, it would go to a, uh, a Supreme Court uh, or some sort of other decision, um, depending on the state. But we just decided to uh, to just split it down the middle just to make life easier and simpler. So we see that if it was up to New Haven Junior High, the seventh and the eighth grade classes, that uh, Donald Trump would be the next president of the United States of America, which may be similar or may be different, um, maybe different than what we see on the national scale when it comes to the actual official vote. Uh, so we won't actually know the results of the 2020 election for a while. Uh, one, because of uh, COVID-19 and coronavirus has put everything into a weird place, but also just because we normally don't know for a while. It takes a while to uh, read all of the mail-in votes and then calculate all the votes, uh, a lot of votes that they have to do by hand or do some sort of calculation with, and then uh, they actually do the electoral college vote like about a week later than when you actually would vote on election day. So we normally don't actually know who the winner of the election is. It, the election night result is sort of more uh, a tradition that we do because of television stations and entertainment and a number of other reasons. So going on now to the actual assignment for today, we are talking about Egyptian technology. So the ancient Egypt Egyptians were one of several river valley civilizations that we see. These are where we see a lot of our first advancements when it comes to science and technology or just life in general. Uh, this is because the river valleys allowed for people to create more food and a surplus of food, which allowed people to focus on other things and create new technologies. And uh, this is where we see the first large civilizations form. And so because of that, we see a lot of our first science and technological advancements in this area. So today we are going to be looking at a number of different technological advancements. 
So what you're going to do is there are, I think there's like seven. There's like seven different technological advancements that we are going to look at. You're going to pick five. So you're going to pick five of these and you're going to write down uh, some observations about the technological advancement and then some notes about the technological advancement. So I want to know when it was or where it came from and then what it is and how they made it, used it and discovered it. And then I want you to add a drawing of it. So uh, for our remote learning virtual students, you can uh, go to Google Images, take a picture and try and add that picture if you would like to do that. Um, so we are going to do this for five different ones. And then we have two reflection questions at the end. Uh, so we are going to do this today and tomorrow. Uh, this will be due on Friday. And I think we might have to move back the quiz date from uh, Friday to Monday for ancient Egypt, which means we'll move back when we do everything else. So uh, that is essentially all that we have for today. You have a bunch of different uh, technological advancements, everything from uh, a writing system like hieroglyphics to uh, the first form of paper called papyrus to things like medicine. The ancient Egyptians developed all sorts of things. They developed clocks and calendars, uh, shipbuilding uh, we first see in this area or like really advanced shipbuilding, uh, forms of agriculture like irrigation and you know plows. Uh, we have uh, clocks using the sun and water. We have the calendar, and then we have more advanced uh, ways of constructing things like uh, using levers and pulleys in order to make different things. And then we also see different sciences like astronomy. Uh, other things that we see come from the Egyptians that aren't talked about as often are things like makeup. Makeup came from the Egyptians and we often don't realize that the Egyptians had a lot of things that we would just consider normal, but this, these people were the first group to ever create certain things like this. So whether it be the 365 day yearly calendar that we have, or the 24 hour day that we have, or even something like makeup that, you know, so many people use these are all things that come from the egyptians and without the egyptians we wouldn't have any of these or we likely wouldn't have any of these uh, it would have taken a lot longer for someone else to develop something like this so these ancient river civilizations are the ones that establish all of these sorts of technologies and advancements and allow them to spread throughout the world and so we are going to look at a handful of them today and we are going to do some observations and take some notes on them. And then we are going to go ahead and do a reflection and write a little bit about why these things are important and uh, just see uh, what everyone else thinks. Uh, I'm going to make a study guide for the quiz. The quiz is going to go over the technological advancements, the timeline, uh, the pharaohs and the gods. So these four things that we have talked about when it comes to ancient Egypt, uh, historical events and the different kingdoms, the important pharaohs that we talked about, the six pharaohs, the 13 gods, uh, and then the number of technological advancement that we see in our uh, notes today. So let's go ahead and get started on this. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Again, if anyone would like, I am offering up I am offering up after school study sessions on Zoom. If anyone would like to join and ask me any questions or get some extra help or some clarification on anything, I am available from 3.30 to 5 uh, in case you need some extra help with something. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, have a great day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.